I have never had one of these eggs before in my entire reptile career. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it Superman? You guys are gonna find out. All right, Jake. Jessica just told us that there's something crazy in the New Caledonia room. What is it? I'm not sure. What is it? What are we looking it's at? It's a Jessica? baby lychee. Our is it first, first one? First one. Wow. That's where I found it. In the cage? <laughs> oh, oh no. my. My. Wow. God, it's so tiny. So I there's mean. dad right there. Look how little. Look at how tiny it is. It's like, no, I won't. It's I can't so do it. It didn't figure it out yet. It doesn't know how to stick it. <laughs> how little he oh is compared. God, it, yes. I don't it's, know. It shouldn't hop. But stay right here. Okay. Jessica, just stay right here. Oh my god. It's really pretty too. It's got like yeah. some pretty orange on it. This is so crazy. I'm so excited. I did not oh know god. that they were so tiny. So I was pretty sure these guys were not breeding. She was laying in this thing. I had it full of sphagnum moss and it had plants. She was going in there and laying apparently. Wow. How many like more do you think we're gonna So when I was digging through here, I found a couple more sets of eggs. These are the eggs right here. Oh my gosh. So what is the deal? We have what, four from one group and two from another? Yep, so this first one here is a parthenogenic one. Oh. It may or may not go, but the second one looks good. I saw a little tail wiggling in there really? when I, yep. And, and then, then these look good too. Uh, these are from the pair that we got the baby from. Oh my gosh, yeah. that is so dope. We got all these eggs, how amazing. Can't wait till we start producing like hundreds of them. I'm gonna keep them all. <laughs> okay, you're, you're such a hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> a little reptile quiz for you boys over here. I want you to find the largest lizard species that we work with. Tell me as much as you know about it. Go! Mike, you're in the wrong spot. Well, I was gonna go to Alvis because he's the biggest lizard we have. That's not what he said, Mike. I didn't know he oh, said the biggest oh, species. Oh. Alright, you gonna talk about it? So this is baby Kush no, is the crap I'm monitor. Here. It's me. It's okay, I'm gonna tell the specs. No, works. baby Kush is the longest, second longest monitor in the world. Komodo dragon's larger. Technically, uh, they're longer, they're just not as big. I don't know. Fact check. That is a debate that's happening right now, but no one really knows the truth. Booyah! <laughs> we both win. Good job. The largest teeth any monitor species. I believe that one. They have the longest tail of any monitor lizard in the world. That's true. It's also prehensile, which means it can hang from it like a monkey. I'm a monkey. Pop quiz, what do they call these in Indonesia? Uh, 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 man eater monitors. They're not rock monitors. Um, How do you guys not know this? Mangrove monitors? Mangrove monitors. That's a species of monitor. Yeah. It's tree dragon. Tree dragons. tree dragons. This guy's cheated so bad. <laughs> That's not gonna do it good. There, he moves. Look at that tail. That's so scary. <laughs> we're gonna move the plated lizards over here. It'll be great for kids to hold. I think they'll really like them. So we're gonna put them up here. They're a burrower, so we'll see how much we actually see them. I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple plants in here. We'll put some reptile prime, and I'll try and give them some stuff to hide under too. Let's get started. So I did find two hatched out eggs, oh, so oh, I gotta, what? <laughs> I have to dig through this whole thing again Jessica, and see if I Jessica, can find Jessica. another baby. And I finally found the other baby! <laughs> well, I figured with the fact that we had an eggshell that it had to be in there somewhere. I was hoping it didn't get out, but unbelievable. Look at how cute little baby lychees are. Again, the very first time that we've ever produced a baby lychee. So this is the one you found. Cute it is. Oh my gosh, that's so adorable. And then this is the one that you found first. Yep, this one's got a little bit more color on it. So I yeah. think that orange actually turns like a purplish color when wow. they get bigger. So Gosh. these should be pretty. How freaking cool is that, man? Little baby dinosaurs. I mean, these things are so incredible. And it's cool whenever you produce something for the very first time. It's just something exciting about never producing before. So good job, Jessica. You worked your butt off and it certainly has paid off. It was awesome. I'm, I was so excited to find them. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. This one's for you, Mike. The largest spider that we keep here at the Reptarium. Go get it. Take it out and tell me all about it. I'm not taking it out. This is a Black Widow plushie. Hey, gotta be alive. A bird eater. I don't, I'm not, I can't. Okay, let's go. Go, 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 he's going. He's going. This is a bird eater. All right, Chris. I'll grab, grab it out. <laughs> I'll grab it out. All right. No. Let's go. Oh, okay. I need a way to get out. Are you doing it? Ooh. Nope, she kicked immediately. <laughs> Defensive posture. Mmm. So, so tell me something about this. So this Chris is, is here to help you. So this okay. is the largest tarantula species, not spider species. This not is true. A, not true. It's not, well, yeah, I guess huntsmen's would be a spider, not a tarantula. Okay, hey, I'll I give it. This. Okay. These guys can get up to like two pounds and like 12 inches. Pounds? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I think we're gonna need to fact check this one. Yeah, they're the largest. They can get like two pounds and like 12 inches. <laughs> there ain't no way a tarantula weighs two pounds. Who's 12 inches are we talking about, dude? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 12 yeah. inches long. <laughs> yeah. 
already big enough. They kick here, say. They stand up and posh. Shut up. Their two <laughs> hands that are in front of their mouth are called patapelps. Okay. Six ounces. Six ounces. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> 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 it's the largest. <laughs> <laughs> a third of a pound. <laughs> it's not a pound. <laughs> they don't have a brain. It's called a gaglia. There's no blood neither. It's like a hydraulic fluid. The, the fangs? Oh, their fangs are like hypodermic needle. Like me uh, metallic metal. Metal. Or metal substances. Like the in iron. It. I feel like I know less about trashes now than before. Question everything. I can't tell, is that foam or another egg back there? That's just foam. Yeah, so we should probably get two or three at the most more okay. clutches. But we have a bunch of different cage zones, so we may have a bunch this year. Yeah, hopefully. This is the first one I found anything in, but we do have two others paired up. So this one, and then there's a cage over there that's got a pair. So exciting. So exciting. Dude. So exciting. Little babies. Yeah. Next up would be the largest amphibian we keep here at the Reptile. Uh, this is Al. Al the marine toad. Super invasive to Australia. They love sugar. AKA cane. No, that has nothing to do with a frog. What? They're cane called toad cane toads because they eat they the don't sugar cane. Eat sugar. No. They're called cane toads because they eat cane beetles. Are you serious? Everyone that comes in the reptarium, I tell them they decimate the sugar cane fields. <laughs> nope. Oh, wow. That's why I know it doesn't work weekends anymore. Wow. I've told <laughs> hundreds of people that. No, they eat the cane beetles, but they also live in the cane field. That's what I thought. Yeah, and they but they don't eat the cane. They eat the beetles. Then what's the big deal? Okay. Because they eat everything in the ecosystem. So they are super invasive in Australia. And pretty much anywhere else that's tropical in the world, like Florida. There's between these guys and like a Frog. They don't have teeth, so they have to fit whatever they're trying to eat in their mouth, and then they can swallow it. Versus the frog, too much talking, on. too much. Poison sacks, squeeze poison. Long legs, jump three feet. He's fat. and then uh, we'll get these guys in here. So awesome that finally, after all this time, we're gonna be bringing the Sudan plated lizards over to the Reptarium. Look at how cool these animals are. I'm excited about it. They're gonna love their new environment. So let's go ahead, just get them over to the Reptarium, let them loose and have fun. Who are these? These are Sudan plated lizards. Oh. They're super cool. Yeah. Are they, are they wow. wild? Little dinosaurs, huh? Yeah, it kind of looks like alligator skin. You guys will have fun with these guys. They're awesome. Cool. Like, Australia's so cool, though, isn't it? it? It really is. They have made the mistake with the cane toad and rabbit, so yeah. no doubt about it. Yeah. They also are the only country continent that lost a war to a kangaroo. A single kangaroo? Kangaroos in general. Fact check. We could have been an Australia. It was a war. Oh, Joe okay. Rogan podcast and stuff. Oh, yeah, so it's legit. Emu war. Emu. Also known as the Great Emu War. Renaissance Wildlife Management. Management military operation undertaken by Australia in the later part of 1932. How did they fight emus? Yeah, how does like a emu declare war? I don't know, but they did. So to sum up the emu war, basically what happened was emus were starting to take over large parts of Australia, so they sent the military out to actually eradicate the emus. And although some emus were actually killed during this incident, the truth is emus actually won and are still all over Australia. We lost us some birds. Find me the largest tortoise species that we work with and tell me stuff about her. I've done a skating move, I just can't quite figure it out. Matilda's an Aldebra tortoise. She comes from the Seychelles Islands. Correct. Oh, wow, I'm good. Only a teenager right now, and it's already over 140 pounds. They're the longest lived land animal on the planet. Over 200 years in some cases. Yeah. Second largest tortoise. Right though. behind the Galapagos giant tortoise. Which is like their cousin. Yeah, it's a, what? Oh, what is it? So it's evolutionary the same, but on separate ends of the, of the planet. Parallel evolution. That's it. Their DNA is 82% related to an elephant. They remember everything. Is that true? That's not really true, so don't believe that part. They drink through their nose, so they'll taste the water and then use their nose like a straw. We've seen that. Check the old video. I'm in love with my albino rarid slider. And there's going to be actually some cool turtle people at a cool event coming up called Animal Con USA. All your favorite creators from all over the place are going to be down in Orlando just a few days away. So you can go to AnimalConUSA.com. I'm going to put a link in the description as well as pin a comment. You can go there, buy your tickets in Orlando. In just a handful of days, AnimalConUSA.com. What's the longest snake that we have here at the Reptarium? Go find her. Right. He's Mike. You got it, Mike. Ow, you slapped my back. That hurt. All right, so this is Lucy. No, no, no you're good. No. You're fine. Let's go. No, I'm not getting there. So this is Lucy. I don't know why I'm whispering. She can't hear. They have no ears. She's also the longest snake we have. She's a tiger reticulated. Oh, you're right. Yeah, tiger reticulated python. They're the longest snake in the world. Lucy's currently like 20, 21 feet. 
and about 200 pounds. Are you freaking crazy? She's also going in the shed right now, so she's very oh, loosey. Her mouth open. Because you pooped her. Uh oh, she's angry. You think? Look at her looking at us. Uh oh, I, I'm she, getting out. She's ridiculous if I don't. Jay, move. Yeah. Move. <laughs> move. Yeah, I'm good. Move. I'm fine. They can go up to 40 feet. No, it's not. I already okay. said. Sorry. Jessica and I have been working on breeding lychee geckos for the last like five years. I really should say Jessica's been working on it. And we've seen some breeding, but we've never produced eggs before. So the fact that not only we we have eggs this time, but we have little baby lychees. It's a huge accomplishment for us, and I'm so excited that now that we're starting to breed them, hopefully all our females are produced, and within the next couple years, we'll be producing tons of these amazing animals. This is a two-parter, guys. First off, tell me the largest crocodile in the world. Um, Saltwater crocodile. No, no, it's the um, Nile. Saltwater crocodile. And although we only keep alligators, go find me an alligator and tell me all you know about them. Just a alligator? An alligator. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's good. I like it. So these on the back are called osteoderms, sharp teeth that are Wait. they use to bite things. This is technically a crocodile. You can tell by the way it is. They have webbed feet which help them swim and through water. Their tail is built like a paddle. They tuck their feet in and, they go and then like they this. just paddle with their tail. Right. They go like that. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Like that. If you're eating carcasses, it's not gonna be too good on your old tummy. So you have to eat a bunch of pebbles and such to basically help do grind it. it down and push out the pressure. You know, like a good old alligator fart. So next time you have a tummy ache, just eat some rocks. Or should I say, crocs? <laughs> Also, we have the ISO receptor, so those are pressure receptors. You touch one of those, the alligator's natural defenses and turn and snap at that, hopefully catching some kind of prey. These guys at this size would eat like bugs and other rodents. They don't let go. When they let go, that food prey gets away. Obviously, right now, he's a very small jaw pressure, but as he gets older, they have the like third or fourth largest bite pressure in the world, like over 3,000 pounds. Take a look at that tongue right there. It's connected. Ah! They have the epiglottis, but his brain is actually right there, and right now, it's probably the size of a little pea. And he's pretty smart for only having the brain the size of a pea. The alligator has a small brain as well. Yeah. Jake, you want to show the first people to ever get the chance to oh, see our nice. newest exhibit? I oh, wow. <laughs> These are Sudan plated lizards. Sudan. They're ready for battle. Oh my like. god, that is cool. They're literally coming over for the first time today. So. Oh wow, that's exciting. Yeah, that's so. awesome. What gives them the spikes on the back? It's just literally a defense mechanism. Yeah. Are we just put one in there or we put a couple in No, there's three in. Three, three in there. A male and two females. Oh. Thanks for offering this. Oh, my it. pleasure. They're just a cool animal. When you oh, first yeah. get them out, they're a little wiggly and they just chill. And here we go. I love this park. Uh, they get their new one. enclosure. Where are you guys going to go? They're going to be able to climb. Right. Look, at it's already climbing. Going all the way to the top. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Let's put the other ones in. There you go, bud. Be free. Have fun. Go join your friends. And then the last one. Gosh, these yeah. things are so cool. And very few people ever breed these. We have a male and two females. Look at, they both ran up. Now all three of them have ran up. Look at how cool that is. Oh my gosh. They're going to love this enclosure and people are going to love the opportunity to hold them because they are so absolutely incredible. So excited to have six lychee eggs that are going to hopefully be hatching out soon. Speaking of out, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, I have to observe it and then the facts come to me because I, I'm in touch with the matrix, basically.